with the mask, which I assume gives us a new power, which we're going to be using in the next world. I assume that's how that works. Stage dive. Is it just a boss fight or is it a level? Yeah, that seems like a boss fight. Okay, uh, so what we do is we just throw the enemies back at where they came from, and that's how we win. At least that's how we make them vulnerable. And then we can jump up to him. We have a couple of seconds to do so. Attack him. And he's got 4 HP. So, this is everything there is to this boss fight. It doesn't seem to overly... Di okay. I do stand correct on that one, don't I? I wonder how the gems work in the boss levels, because I do see a... a death counter, like, under my lives. It just went up because I was trying to find the right button to use it. But between deaths, the damage you dealt actually sticks around, which... I'm not a fan of? Actually, no, no, I don't think I like that. Especially since I'm playing in retro mode, I, I should point out. If anybody joining uh, this video on, on YouTube rather than uh, having been watching this live on Twitch. I'm playing on retro mode. So... I, I, I kind of think that on retro mode, if you die in a boss fight, you should get reset back to the start of the boss fight. Even though I am failing horribly at it right now myself. And I definitely am benefiting from the fact that I don't have to redo the first part of the fight over and over and over again every time I die. I feel like that's kind of just how, like, not just Crash Bandicoot, but just video game boss fights work. Is you don't get a checkpoint in the middle of a goddamn boss fight, especially not after every hit. I don't know if that it is after every hit. But I'm assuming that it is. Give me an enemy. Give me an enemy to hit. Thank you. More enemies? Please? The only way I can hit you is if you throw an enemy at me. If you just keep using these weird as speaker things, which, by the way, as far as like Crash Bandicoot boss designs go, this does fit in fairly well with like a more modern interpretation of Crash Bandicoot. And that should now allow me to go hit him again. Will there be any obstacles standing in my way at this point? Uh, no, but I'll have to use the reality shift thing a bit. Which really isn't that much of an issue, honestly. Well, it's definitely going to be like a more difficult platforming for the next couple of hits, I, I assume. <laughs> okay, things are speeding up a bit. <laughs> Things are definitely speeding up a bit, but I'm also getting more room to walk around, which means that it's easier to dodge these, to a certain extent, anyway. Okay, that's two hits. Get the third in. No! Luckily, this game is for babies, and I don't have to redo the entire boss fight over again. I mean, for my Let's Play purposes, that, that really helps a lot. Don't get me wrong. For Let's Play purposes, that is amazing. From a game design perspective, I am not a huge fan of the fact that you just, like, get... Pretty much no penalty for dying inside of a boss fight. It's not entirely no penalty, but it might as well be because lives... You're losing a life, which means that, yeah, without, like... Okay, so now things are moving around as well. So, hold on a moment. I can jump on top of this, then jump on top of that, and then jump on top of this. Three seconds! And we're down to the last hit. 
I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I think the fact that... Okay! Um, I did not see that coming. Gonna be honest with you. I like it, though. This makes things... Again, this is the first actual boss of the game. This is... This is so much more difficult than you'd expect from a first boss fight. <laughs> and I am totally all for it. I love it. And that is the third enemy we're going to be using right there. The last hit, while it was a little bit intimidating to see, I actually had to do some platforming for it. It's actually not that big of a deal. And oh, you, you barely need to use the reality shift, turns out. I, I can't jump on top of that, okay. Sure, that makes sense. There we go. Beaten with his own drum. And we now have a new power-up, presumably. As always, we beat the bad guy. Do we now go like into the dimensional rift to get a tutorial or something? Is that how it all works? I feel like that's how that works. <laughs> 